Hey, it's Steve Verrier with Caliber Home Loans here in Palm Coast, online at thefloridamortgagecenter.com, and uh, we're fresh off of filming the events happening this weekend uh, video series, and, and Matt Grafer, who I introduced you to on the last video, is sticking around to give us some uh, tips and tricks, because, you know, you uh, when talking with you and learning more about what you do, you're a wealth of knowledge. I mean, first of all, he's a college professor at uh, Kaiser University. Yep, Jacksonville campus. Right, Jacksonville Van campus of Kaiser University. And, uh, man, you're the proprietor of the local uh, Challenge Entertainment series. I mean, I guess that's a national franchise? It is. It is a national franchise. Our, our region is considered Central Florida, so mm -hmm. I oversee a lot of the shows that are uh, in Volusia County. Flagler County and even up into uh, Duval right. County, up into Jacksonville. And these shows are trivia related, as you can see, live trivia. You can catch this at several venues uh, here around town. Um, Fins. Uh, Fins on Mondays. We're also at the Brass Tap for a new game that we're starting this Monday, the 19th, called mm -hmm. Pub Pole. It's like trivia combined with Family Feud. It's a very, very awesome. cool new game. Uh, the Brown Dog is my show on Tuesdays, where yeah. we've got Bane's Barbecue and the Brass Tap for trivia on Wednesdays. Uh, so we've got a right. lot of stuff going on. Yeah, guys, week. going out to these nightly venues is not just about getting uh, polluted and, or feeding yourself. You can actually show how brilliant you are. <laughs> and we're going to hear a little bit about how brilliant Matt is right now because you're going to share some tips. What is it that you, you said you would, you would teach at? And so this month is actually six years I've been with Kaiser University. I've been teaching in their sports medicine and fitness technology program, uh -huh. uh, which sometimes I feel hypocritical about because I'm so busy that I no longer have the time to uh, engage in the fitness components I, I, as I, much I as empathize. I'd like to. I empathize. Uh, but that's, uh, that was, that's what gave me the ability, I think, to call myself the young professor. I was a 25-year-old professor when I started. Uh -huh. Uh, I'll be 32 in a couple weeks, so uh, that's the, the name for my entertainment venue. It's not just a name. That's what I do right. for a living. So uh, being so knowledgeable about sports medicine, what's the one thing we screw up and don't do right? You and I were kind of talking about this yesterday, um, at least when it comes to working out, especially now while everybody is engaged in yeah. the, the midst of your uh, New Year's resolutions, if you're still keeping up with those, that is. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of people go out there and they try to start working out and probably biting off a little more that they can chew without really understanding some of the things that you should do for your body in order to uh, truly benefit it and give yes. it the most ability to succeed. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked about this the other day. I think one of the biggest mistakes people make is when it comes to stretching. Right. Uh, because one of the things about it is, first of all, it's very neglected. Mm -hmm. And then when it's not neglected, it's often done incorrectly. Correctly. Yes, um, that would be me, incorrectly stretching. So we were talking in your events coming up this weekend, so the uh, the race, the runway is coming up. But a lot of people like to run these 5Ks, and they go out there, uh, and they'll do a few stretches. And what you see typically is you'll see people kind of just, you know, do one of these or one of these, and they'll hold it for five, yeah. six seconds. Touch and and, and they, they think they're good to go. And, uh, you know, when it comes to a run, that's not ter that terrible. But when it comes to more dynamic workouts uh, and when you're doing something a little bit more vigorous intensity, yeah. It's better actually to do some warm-up exercises that are similar to what you're going to be doing. So okay. if you're going to be running a 5K, jog in place, do some yeah. high knees, do some butt kicks, get your legs, your knees, your hips moving in the way that they're going to be moving during the run. Get your right. body temperature elevated so your muscles are nice and warm, and then your body is prepared for the kind of activity that it's going to be uh, right. participating in. So if we were lifting weights, would we would be doing like Rodney Dangerfield, two, four, six, eight, ten? Yeah, yeah. So if you, I mean, depending on what lifts you're doing, if you're doing upper body, you want to limber up your upper body. Again, a, a key dynamic warm up is what we call it, and where you do some moving motions that are kind of like stretches, okay. um, but you're doing them repetitively, but in a calm, uh, controlled manner that just moves. It mimics the motions you're going to be doing. Here's here's something because you know. Spare time is something sure. I don't have. So if I'm even making it to the gym, I'm like, I only got so much time to work out. And I always think that this, the time that you should be taking stretching is, you know, I mean, who's got the time for well, it? Well, people say so that. how long should we hold a stretch when we're, when we're doing stretching? If you're going to be, well, again, I, I would save any of that stretching that you usually think, it's called static stretching, where you hold one position for a long period uh -huh. of time. You usually want to hold it for between 15 and 30 seconds, but those kinds of stretches you should actually do after you're done working out. The stuff ah. I'm talking about, jumping jacks, running in place, high knees, butt kicks, um, self-motivation claps, kind of opening up your jumping, chest and your jumping back, jacks, jumping yeah. jacks, all that kind of stuff. That's what you should do before your workout. And if you give yourself between five and 10 minutes, five at the least, yeah. you should be pretty well suited to get ready and get started. It's not a lot of time to, uh, right. to waste. And it really does benefit you because if your muscles are cold, 
you run the risk of injuring them. And then you can't work out at all ever, so that right. five minutes spent is actually pretty valuable right. time. Well, guys, you heard it from the mouth of the young professor straight from Kaiser University, and uh, I'm sure you might run into him at some of these events, right? Do you ever... I am all over town. Uh, I host shows. The new pub poll on Mondays at the Brass Tap is my show, so you can find me there at 6.30. And then here at the Brown Dog at 7 o'clock on Tuesdays. We've been doing that show since the summer. It's a fun time, guys. It's two hours long. Every one of our shows, you win $70 in prizes to our top three teams. That's awesome. Um, And we're in the middle of a league, so come out every week. It's something fun to do in Palm Coast during the weeknights. That's something right. that I think... Those, you, those of you that don't throw darts or shoot pool or... Yeah, it's know, something to do to <laughs> use your brain, have a good night out. Two hours is about all it takes and you're right. home, ready for bed and you can start your day the next day. Absolutely. So guys, get out there. Let's show Matt that Palm Coast is a smart town. I think they are. We're we're a a smart town here. (laughs) Don't forget, guys, you know, my day job, if you have any questions, not on stretching, uh, but on mortgages or anything of that nature, you can always give me a call, 386-866-1112. Of course, you can find Matt at the Brass Tap, as he said. Brass uh, Tap, Brown Dog, but you can really check us out, facebook.com slash Central Florida Trivia. Great. Anyway, hope you all are having a great weekend. Enjoy. Don't hesitate to give me a call if you need me. Take care. Bye-bye now.